Good morning. Welcome to St. Martin. St. Martin. St. Martin. Um, we are going for breakfast in the main dining room. It's very, very busy in this corridor, so I'll be right back. Morning, team. I got gluten free pancakes, Jack. With maple syrup and bacon. Oh my goodness. What is that? Doge thing on toast. Beans and a sausage. Full English is all round over there. The missing beans. Oh, two eggs and two sausages. And a bagel. What is the capital city of Spain? Madrid. Madrid. We gave, we gave them them free anyway. Question number four. <laughs> Fiji is located in which ocean? Pacific. It is south. It is the South Pacific. That's in South Pacific. Question number seven. Which Scottish lock is the heart is the largest body of water in the Great Glen? Come on. Lock Ned. Oh. <laughs> we should have two we should have two more than we currently do, just by the way. <laughs> Walt Disney World is in which US state? Florida. Florida. In which country is the Taj Mahal? India, correct. In which mountain range is Mont Blanc? Who does? It's in the Alps, correct. In which county of Northern Ireland is the Giant's Causeway? Oh, I'm so sorry to my heritage. Is in us. County Antrim. Oh. oh, well done. <laughs> 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 that that oh took that to the whole of the rest the of the quiz. <laughs> On which island of New Zealand is Wellington located? Also. North Island. Oh, I said the North Island as well. I was sure it was the South. Like I've studied it. <laughs> which desert crosses 11 countries in North Africa? Sahara. It's the Sahara Desert. And our final question, number 20. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is located in which Australian state? New South Wales. The voice of God speaks. Good morning, this is Chloe, your onboard Shore Experiences Manager. I am just letting you know that we still have availability on our afternoon tour of Phillipsburg by trolley train, our 12.30 departure. So if you're still stuck for something to do this afternoon, you can take the trolley train tour around the capital of the Dutch side of the island of Phillipsburg with RT on the 12.30 departure. If you'd like to purchase tickets for this, you can purchase it from the Shore Experience team on the quayside area outside the ship from 12 o'clock. Thank you very much and have a great day at St Martin. Okay, back to it. If you could please tally up the marks and give them back to their respective owners, we shall thank you. Three. What did we get? 16. So should have had 80%. Oh, well, well, 90. He put, well you done, you terrible people. Give me a little wave if that's your score. Hilarious. Let me know if you've got five or more. Woo! Ten or more. Woo! Twelve or more. Woo! Fourteen or more. Woo! Sixteen or more. Woo! Seventeen or more. No. Oh, oh, give them a round of applause. Oh, 18 or more. 19 or more. They got 19. Yeah. We didn't put a tiebreaker. We would have been in a tiebreaker. Well done. Congratulations to the winners. Yeah. Maintenance on the lifeboat. Yeah. Mum, it's literally like the boat we took to. Oh, oh it's double deck a lot. You can see down. Down there, there's yeah, yeah. more space. Like the the oh, a double decker life lifeboat. How many people can fit on it? 462. <laughs> I don't think that's the answer. Holly said something. Oh, yeah, 462. It does. <laughs> I just didn't have any faith in what you were saying. Hey, hey. Hi. Ready? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Look! Oh, uh, are they? Oh, yeah. Crew are practicing muster on that ship. Oh, can we see the in? No, the word RV is at the very front. Oh, what, what do you, you mean? You know, when we were in the mooring bit. 
there? That's that we were in the front. Oh, no, we were in the front, but yeah, they're the same. Were. Look, we were, we were up here yesterday, hanging out. <laughs> yeah. So our promenade deck is in the way. Yeah. But this, this ship is the sister cruise line to our ship. So they're like distant cousins. It's the German version. And this is the Ma. What? The mar, Ada, no. mar. Um, Which means like sea in Spanish, so I. It's German. Does it mean sea in German too? Don't know. Just because I did German at school doesn't mean I know how to speak German. Oh, look, Mobot and Simona there. Oh, yeah. So they are. So yesterday, it's a boat singing. Oh, no, it's an aeroplane. Um, so yesterday, when we were, did the um, tour, behind the scenes tour, we were in this bit here, that red strip at the bottom of part of the flag at the front. That's the mooring deck. So in there, they've got these, like, as you can see, they're, they're out, the huge ropes all spooled up on these huge big things up in there. But we were looking out of these windows down at the sea as it was going. It was honestly I, one of the coolest things I've ever done on a holiday. It was just so amazing to be able to go behind the scenes and see how it all works. And the teamwork required to actually yes. move the thing <laughs> is intense. This is the, um, a door that comes out so that they can throw the ropes down. Somebody's having a disco. Yeah, here's Bill. I liked something that he said um, yesterday when we were up on the mooring dock. Mooring, mooring deck. There we are. When we were up on the mooring deck. Oh. That sounds like a fun noise. That sounded exciting. Anyway, as I was saying, when we were up there in them windows where those ropes are coming out, um, we were talking about the strength of these ropes and how they obviously have to be strong enough to hold the ship in place. But some of the, do some of the ports that the ship visits, the mooring posts are not quite as strong as the ropes so on occasion a mooring post has come loose of the actual dock and he says that he's seen them not on this ship but in the past he's seen mooring posts like that get launched over the bow of the ship um, which would be quite scary, I think, <laughs> over the top and then to the other side. So let's hope that doesn't happen. But at least you know the ropes are strong. I don't even remember where we are. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. We are. But we are on the we are on the Dutch side, not the French side. I think we are. No, we're on the Dutch side, aren't we? Yeah. Um, and we're just in the like duty free port of call bit. We're gonna hang out here for a bit. Look at the mountains. I just can't stop, like, it's just amazing, isn't it? The water looks clear. The water looks good, doesn't Where's it? Where's the other one? Oh, there's two, yeah. yeah there. So the first one, there's two iguanas down here. I can't see. I think, I think he's, is he here? And then there's another one. Um, another one is here. There's skin a few Fish, Sandra, look at this. Look at that tail. Yeah, we saw one when we was here before. Oh, there's two more over on the rocks there, look. Yeah, yeah. That's when me and Daddy saw them before when we came on them years ago. They were on the rocks as well. God, the more you look at these rocks, the more, the more you bloody iguanas you see. You've got spaghetti meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs. 
Yum yum. I'm gonna see what I can get. Because I can't have either of that. So we've got pork today. Oh, is there any crackling? I don't look like it. And some gravy. And there's no, you're fine. Uh, beef teriyaki with egg noodles, some potato. Then there's some haddock fillet. Oh, that is fish. Thank you very much. It's fish. Sorry. Yes. And then there's roast chicken and paprika. I can eat that apparently. I can eat this. This has got no allergens. Um, I can't pick up the chicken. It's a struggle one for me today then. There's some rice. Spice lentil, green chilli. So there's some rice. Some sweet potato and carrot fritters with some lime yogurt. At the minute I've got a piece of chicken. There's some sausage rolls in the middle. This is the bread and butter section here every day. And then, oh that's the same as what's just over there. Let's see if there's anything. This I think they're the same then. Oh no. Oh, barbecue goes, baby back. I can get those. Oh, that is so you can tune in, no other gyms. There's the fish again. That could probably get some of that. The chicken. There's the pork and spaghetti and meatballs on the end. Cool. Oh, there's also all these puddings look. So we've got chocolate mousse today, which is gluten free, we've got mince pies, fruit salad and a Victoria sponge. So this one is not a good one. We've also got the salad counter out today and a couple of like all the salad bits. So we've got turkey, we've got fried mackerel, mixed seafood, biscuits, cheese. There's like the sandwiches here that they do. Hi, Ew. Mm -hmm. This bit is not in use. It is for pasta salad and stuff. So just can't be not in use. Oh, there's some different ones. A ghetto opera, gluten free. Victoria sponge, fruit trifle, chocolate mousse, and a carrot cake, gluten free. Interesting. A couple of gluten free options today. What you got, mister? What a strange collection. Butter. <laughs> Yeah. You guys want to have uh, I think they're both for me. <laughs> so we've got chips, spaghetti, garlic bread. Is that garlic bread? Yeah. And, and fish. And fish. Well, We've I... got meatballs. Yep. Spaghetti. Yep. Beef teriyaki noodles. Nice. Uh, mashed potato, butter, cheese, uh, and yeah. Nice. I wonder what mummy gets. My hand has gone global. Global. Hooray! Mission Control. How do we get in? Can we just approach the door? Can you pull the door? No? Can we just wait oh. here? It's got puzzle solving elements to it, but we're not going to be locking you in a room and asking you to get out. Yay. We're going to be sending you on a mission under the ocean with our captain at the helm. You are going to be the crew members on board our RV2 submarine today. The reason I say this is because I know the words escape room are thrown around a lot when people talk about mission control, so I just want to make it clear so everyone knows what they're signing up for before we get through these doors. As long as everyone's okay with that, we're going to be on our Sunken City Explorers mission today, which is our research mission, which should be a lot of fun. So, I'm going to start getting you all checked in. So guys, can I take your cabin number, please? Uh, 10, 7, 4, What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that the submarine we're getting in? That must be the, the submarine, submarine we're getting on. Yes. RV2, she said. Big yeah. submarine. Oh. Now what? What? Hi there. Hello there. Hello there. Good afternoon, crew. A pleasure to meet you all here at the Marine Research Institute. Welcome to Mission Control. Now, my name is Captain Kenway, and I will be your captain for this mission. Now, Lola tells me you guys are 
best of the best. Is that great? Right? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Right, fantastic. You've all completed the three years of training. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. What, what was your favourite module? What was your favourite part? Oh, just all of it, really. All of yeah. it. All of it. They are an enthusiastic bunch. Yeah. Enthusiastic yeah. bunch, indeed. Well, <laughs> I'm sure you'll all have your moments to shine throughout this mission. We're going to have a good one this one, I think so. It's going to be a very good mission, indeed. Well, mm -hmm. I have a few checks left to do on the submarine. I'm going to leave you in Lola's very capable hands to get all checked in, and then we'll get this mission underway. How does that sound, crew? Yeah. 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 Good, right. good. I'll see you guys later on then. Good work, Lola. Fantastic. Oh. Oh. Excellent work there, Craig. You made a great first impression on the captain, filled him with confidence. So, what modules did you excel in? Mechanic, very nice. Only time, only time. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and helmsman, perfect. We'll confirm and save that in the next Here we go. Move. Who are you going to walk straight into that wall? <laughs> okay, so. Fantastic. Now I'm going to leave you to face in the face. Give me a shout if you need any help, okay? Yeah. But in the meantime, group, I'm going to talk you through what's going to happen next. Okay. Alright, lovely stuff. I'm going to press a little button over here. Alright, crew, if you want to gather around this yeah. way for me, crew, we've got about a minute before our mission commences. Yeah. So, I'm going to talk you through our lovely submarine. Yeah. Alright, let's get this mission underway. 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 Let's get this is the one you're going to be boarding today. So it's got a fully operational lab on board with stations for geology, oceanology and biology. All that you're going to be able to use throughout the course of your mission. So all of your ology needs, crew, are met on board the Arvia 2. Underneath there is the Arvia 3, our smaller, sleeker sub that Dr. Melissa Ryan will be piloting today. She's going to be leading us on our mission, showing us the way to go, helping us out, communicating as and when we need. Right at the bottom there, crew, is the Arvia 4, our smallest drone-operated sub. But I do believe we have a look at the live feed of our docking area over here. How many subs are we taking out today, crew? Two. Two? Yeah. Fantastic. We've got the Arvia 2 and the Arvia 3 where Dr. Melissa's getting ready to go. Give her a wave. Say hi, Melissa. Hi, hi Melissa. She can't hear you, crew. Oh. Sorry. There we go. All right. So our countdown is almost complete, crew. The doors are going to open. Melissa will appear on the screen in front of you in just a moment. So if you want to head on through for me, please. Yeah. of opening a file for each of you and assign positions based on what I know about you. Let's hope I make the right call. We need two helmspersons. The left helmsperson, you're responsible oh, for God. the wooden <laughs> 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 You're good at finding your way in unfamiliar places. Let's go. That's actually the right person. My pal says you have a little trouble with your left and right. I'm sure you'll be better with up and down. The next one is a natural choice. Obvious first officer material. I mean, look at you. Ooh, authority. You control the thrust lever, but leave the orders to the captain. <laughs> Who's next? Oh yeah, our mechanic. A lighter role, responsible for keeping the Avia 2 in one piece as the mission progresses. Oh, so, good luck. This one is the technician. Depend on you, no pressure. I'm kidding, just do your best. I'm sure everyone will most certainly be fine. Now this one is special. It says in your file. Oh, We're not making it. <laughs> We're not making it. <laughs> Impressive. You are our navigator. Oh, 
It's your job to monitor the sensors. Exactly. Okay, team. Excellent candidates one and all. You each have time to shine as your mission focuses. So remember, the best way to solve the task is with teamwork. So, rule number one, talk to each other, work together. Oh, and time is of the essence. So, when a message lights up on your task manager, action it straight away. Or things can get a bit hairy before you know it. Feeling confident? You should be. I'll be back in touch as soon as everyone's in positions aboard the submarine. See you soon! Bye! Bye. 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 The door's gonna open! Wait, what is that? Are you confident, Wait, Yes! yes. Oh, all right, fantastic. I'm just yeah. squeeze through here. Oh, now uh, okay, now, crew, I have your crew cards and I need you guys to line up in the order that I give them to you, okay? So, first of all, can I have Annabelle, my first officer? Mark, my navigator. Craig, my sonar technician. Uh, Carol, my biologist. There you go. Uh, my geologist, and then last but not least, my oceanologist. Thank you. you join, uh, join the queue. 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 Join the Oh my gosh. My sonar yes. technician, my biologist, yes. and over here we have Geo. Let's go find our schools! Alright, so gather around, crew, gather around. The scores will be opening up in just a moment. So, in a moment, the scores will load up and we're going to see how everyone did. So, first officer, Annabelle, Woo! how did you do? Hello. Mechanics, 75%. Okay, Alice, how did you do? Oh, 81%. Fantastic driving, Alice. Okay, James, how did you do? 75%. Very good. AJ, what do you reckon? Oh, 76%. Very good. Carol, our biologist. Oh, Carol, very good. How about Craig, our sonar technician? 73% there. Mark, our navigator. 82%. And Kelly, last but not least. Kelly, how did you do? 65%. Well, what about our score at the top? Lola. 78 78% Very good work. Well done. Well done. Actually, don't worry, Annabelle, don't worry. Lola left before we dive. So Lola, she had she isn't there. She she left. She's gone for her she's gone for her tea break, I'm pretty sure. Alright, well there we go, crew. 78%, a very respectable score, which brings us to third on the leaderboard. Absolute pleasure out of a mission to run with you guys. I hope you absolutely enjoyed yourself. Did anyone leave any belongings in the briefing? Yes. yes. Uh, All right. I will get that. Now and then, yeah. They brought me gluten from Red Street. I wonder what they Right, so here's to the lights venue. We are back at the main dining room. Pause to read. I'm going to have tomato soup without the croutons, and then it's gluten free. I'm going to have the duck, no, I thought about the duck, then I saw the lamb legs, I'm going to have the lamb legs, and then for pudding, I'm going to have a cherry cheesecake. Bon appetit! Dinner time! I forgot to, to take a photo of starters, but we have soup and salad, so fish and chippies! What have you went with? I've got gnocchi, yeah, and it's tomato and mozzarella. And in fact, you are the opposite of a tree hugger because, like, you're killing more trees by being vegetarian? Yeah, you're murdering vegetables. Uh, just to clarify, you are not vegetarian. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, no, she's a normal person. <laughs> I'm the only dodgy one on the table. But I thought there would be a leg here and there isn't. You just alienate, like, one third of your no you ruined I thought you'd just ruined it. That looks so cute. That's so fancy! But it does look What is it, Jack? We're playing a game. Is it even legal? So, this one is, in Florida, is it legal to deny 
neighbour shelter in the event of a zombie apocalypse. I'm and singing. your dumbass said true. <laughs> it's fake, obviously. Oh. Well, for everyone for themselves. Zombie at Nah, everyone for what themselves cookie, in, the, in the what, USA. What cookie dough did you get? Cookie dough. Cookies I'll, I'll and cream, ice cream. Yeah. 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 Ye